new episode of Better Call Saul. That's a good morning right there. Better Call Saul, in the words of that one yogurt commercial, it is so good. Okay, guys, I've got a little bit of a problem. So you guys know the story behind this shirt? It's kind of a long story, but I got a hole there. I got a hole there. I got a hole there. Oh, I already showed you that one. I don't know, I've had this shirt for like two years now, so maybe it's just run its course. It's made out of linen, so I guess it's not the most durable material. I think I'm just gonna let it keep falling apart until it's unwearable. But for now, time for a run. biggest ducks I've ever seen. So it started raining as soon as I came out to run. It stopped, but I was gonna say, well, God made rain and rain don't cause no pain. Then that got me thinking about God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. And I always found that saying really funny because God made everything. Man, I love ice cream trucks. I would get ice cream from them every single time they came around, except for I just don't want to feel like crap after. Is that like a fruit truck? Anyways, the current state of the garage is in, uh, it's kind of in limbo right now, but it's ready to be ready. It's just not ready yet. Like my music corner over here, it's basically ready. I just need to tidy it up. But over here, we got some problems. It's not as bad as it looks, but this section is all the crap from the house that I grew up in. This weight machine we gotta figure out something to do with. This thing was at the old studio, but we really didn't get that much use out of it, and it was really expensive, so I feel like it'd be kind of a waste just to get rid of it. This is kind of in limbo until we finish the construction, which is, is very close. I don't think I ever explicitly talked about it, but there was a hole in this wall, and there was an air conditioner in it, which is, very much can't be up to code, right? So anyways, we turned it back into a wall, but this still needs to be painted and sanded and stuff. It's just kind of one of those things. Garages, closets, and drawers. They're all like out of the way and they're not like part of your everyday life. So it's really easy to just put them to the back of your mind. It's just like your subconscious. It's like this underbelly of thoughts that you just kind of put away and you're like, I'm not gonna think about those. But then when it comes time that you actually need to use them, then you have to step over stuff and you gotta move around stuff and you gotta search through drawers and is that a good analogy or not? I don't know. In any case, uh, I'll deal with this soon. It's almost ready to be dealt with but not yet. Now, this room on the other hand is looking primo brezets. Everything's just about good to go. There's only a couple boxes in the floor. I think we can officially declare that we are moved in. Although we could probably say that for a while now. <clears throat> but you know how it is. You know how it is, dog. What on earth am I talking about? Now, absolutely nothing I have said has led up to this, so this is just out of nowhere. But you know what, man? At the end of the day, don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody else. Just do what you're gonna do to the best of your knowledge because we're all gonna die anyway, and it won't matter. And you guys know, I love me some overthinking. But at the end of the day, man, it's just like, it does not matter that much.
that is going to do it for today's vlog. This is a nice little test of my new lens to see how it performs in the dark. I think it's going to be pretty good. But thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. And then got, and then that got me thinking about God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. And then that got me thinking about God made dirt and dirt don't, dirt don't hurt. It's really hard to say. This section is like my crap from my old house. But like this section is all the crap from, but this section is from the crap that I, what? <laughs>